back to the Fall in Love with You challenge where we are learning 10 love songs together. Today we are working on Can't Help Falling in Love. This is one of the most popular love songs and I'm gonna give you two ways to play it with strum and with finger styles, so get ready. All right, let's get started. Whether you're playing GCEA ukulele or DJBE ukulele, the chord charts are on the screen for you. You can play this with a strumming pattern like this, down, down, up, down, up, down, Or if you're an absolute beginner and you feel more comfortable with fewer strums, you can do this one. That's okay too. Now if you want to add a picking pattern, I'm assigning one finger per string and then working my way down the ukulele and back up like this. So please pick the pattern that you like and let's try it. I'm gonna have the music play from my computer and it has a metronome, so it has a click to keep us on time. Okay, here we go. Ready, go. Stay on G, go to F. A minor, F, G. For this song, I would like you to practice leading. And what I mean by leading is always think about the next chord in line. So from C, we go to E minor. So to lead there, it would be nice to have your index finger ready so that when you go from C to E minor, you're already there. Okay, and on baritone ukulele, it's easier for you this switch because you go from C to E minor. You just need to lift the index finger. Once you're at E minor, what's next? A minor. So that one for us here is a total jump. So you have to be mentally prepared for that. I want you to lead the entire time that we are playing, okay? So let's try a quick play along. Remember, you can do down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, or simple down strums or finger picking pattern. You choose, okay? Two, one, two, ready, go. F, C, G, F, G, A minor. Okay, so that section from E minor to B7. For my really picky people, um, there's another way to do B7 with a bar. If you can do it, do the bar. That's a more complete chord. So let's try that line with the E minors to B7s. If it's too difficult for you to make those switches, give one strum per chord. Okay, here we go. Two, ready, go. Keep the beat. E minor. A7. The rest of the song repeats something we've already done. 
So this take my hand is exactly the same as the first line, exactly the same as the second line. And the song ends on I can't help falling in love with you, which you've done already. So this song is really good for memorizing, for trying different finger picking patterns, and for learning how to sing and strum because the lyrics come at very predictable places. So um, let's do the E minor to B7 and finish the song. Two, two, one, two, E minor, B7. the song this time I'll do the pattern down down up down up down up down up down up. please remember to lead lead one two ready go the finger pattern I'm gonna add the metronome just to keep me on beat because this is like one of those things that you can lose the beat easily
trick with finger style is to continue the pattern even if you're not quite done switching chords like some of those times when I had to jump from G to F I'm still landing those fingers while I'm doing the pattern so do not stop the pattern and people will think like oh my gosh wow they're so amazing but really like you're still working on it this is so beautiful I think if you learn one song in the challenge it should be this one it is just I hope you enjoyed today's practice. Come back and review this video as many times as you want until you get it. Trust me, even if you only do it once a day for seven days, you'll notice that you can do the song. So take your time with it, but stay consistent and you'll be able to play it. Thank you so much for letting me be your teacher and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara!